welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so today is day 200 of our potd series and today is the last video of this series so let us just do this question so find the first node of loop in linked list and this is given a very easy question so our brute force approach is gonna get accepted and in this question we are given a single linked list of n nodes and we have to find the first node of the loop if the linked list has a loop so here a linked list can have a loop that means the next node of this last value is something some value in our linked list okay so if a loop is present then we have to return the node data of the first node of the loop else return minus one so that means that we have to return here three so you can see here the loop is starting from three node and after that three two four five the last node is five okay so we have to return here three so what is the brute force approach so you might be thinking that we have to first traverse in our linked list and we can just store the values so we traverse on one and we will just store it in a in a we can use hash set okay so we can just store this value in our hash set that this uh, we already know this value so after that when we are at three so we will also store three and then two then four then five and after five we will just again move to three and we know that we already stored this three so that means three is the first value that is starting our loop okay so at last we will just return three so that is our brute force approach and uh, let me just implement it so we have to create here a set and the time and space complexity will be here of of n yeah and, uh, so first of all we will create a set of has set and uh, we will just create a temp node from head So this is our brute force approach, but uh, we will also see the optimized approach that will that you can solve this question without using any extra space, and uh, that is a very interesting approach. So while head temp is uh, not equal to, but we can say null, or we can just use here infinite loop if we know that if we know that there is no linked list, if we know that there is no loop in our linked list, so then we can just return here minus one. So if there is linked list, then we will never reach this condition, and we have to use here some break statement, and what it will be. So we have to write here break statement if our this temp node is already present in our set. If set dot contains this temp, then we will just break. We can just return here temp dot data. Else, what we have to do? We have to just add this value. So we will just add it. Set dot add temp and uh, let me just think so first of all we are at one so set dot contains one no set doesn't contain this value so we will just add it and after that we have to move next so we will just do temp equal to temp dot next and after that we are at this three so at three we will just check if set dot contains three no it is not so we will add it and we will move next and then two then four then five and after five we will be again at three so we'll check if set dot contains three and and this time set contains three so we will just return three and at last if temp is null then we have to return here minus one and that is our brute force approach right time and space complexity is o of n so now we have to reduce our space complexity and i will just show you with which algorithm we have to do this so we will use here fluid cycle detection algorithm so this approach is also accepted because the time complexity is also here o of n but you today you have to learn a new new concept and that is here fluid cycle detection algorithm and uh, if you are practicing enough question on linked list then you may know that uh, we can use this slow and fast pointer approach right so what is this approach let me just tell you so suppose this is our linked list so this is our linked list and it have some cycle here so what we can do is so this is our cycle here and this is our starting node okay and uh, suppose we are starting from here so we can use here slow and fast pointer approach so what we will do we will just create two pointers that is here slow and that is here fast so so what what we will do so slow will reach here at one step at a time so this it will take small steps so first step second step and it will take small steps to reach the end so after this and uh, what a fast pointer will do so fast pointer will take two step at a time so it will take larger steps and after after entering in our loop so what it will do so fast is taking uh, larger steps so suppose it is uh, revolving in this loop right so after that this slow pointer will also revolve in this loop so fast pointer is uh, moving very quickly and slow pointer is moving very slowly and it it will be a condition that they will meet somewhere in this loop right so suppose this is our this is our we can say node that we are there meeting so fast is equal to slow at this point and now we can say that there is a linked list in our 
there is a loop in our link list so at this point at any point so it can be here it can be here it can be here so if they are meeting then we can say fast and slow pointer are meeting and there is a link list present so that's how we can uh, we can find whether a link list uh, whether a loop is present in our link list or not but uh, that is not our problem our problem is to find the first node of our link list and how can we do it so i will just tell you so in this case we have to find this node right so we have to find this node and how can we do this so this is the property that this distance where they are meeting where fast and slow pointer are meeting will be definitely equal to this value so suppose this is our a value and this is our b value so it is guaranteed that they will be equal or we or what we can say if this distance is very very larger and this cycle is very small then we can say that after iterating our only in our cycle more time multiple times then we will definitely meet this a pointer at this point so it is a property and i will also show you the proof so what i am saying is either this a is directly equal to b or we can say we have to iterate in our loop multiple times and after iterating we will definitely meet this a at this point which is the first node of our loop so i have to now prove this property so what we can do is i can just uh, use some mathematics here so this is our a this is our b and suppose this is our c okay so we know that we know one thing that first pointer is a uh, multiple two times of our slow pointer because uh, i just told you that slow pointer will just move slow equal to slow dot next and what a fast pointer will do it will move two times so fast equal to fast dot next dot next so i will also create them here so the slow pointer will be at head and fast pointer will be also at head and uh, after some while loop i will also write here condition how slow pointer will move slow equal to slow dot next and how a fast pointer will move fast equal to dot next dot next and after that how can we do this so we already know this this fast pointer is equal to 2 into slow pointer and where they are meeting will be definitely equal to this condition because fast pointer is moving two times of slow pointer so let us just define this statement so now our uh, condition is uh, the distance of fast pointer is equal to two times of distance of slow pointer so what is the this total distance of fast pointer so first it traversed in this a distance so a plus after this it is traversing this cycle multiple times so it can be one time it can be two times or it can directly be zero times so that means after this after this a then it they are meeting at this point so that is obviously obviously not the case after iterating one time they cannot meet because slow is very slow pointer then compared to fast right so that is obvious that our fast pointer will move in this cycle multiple times and suppose we are supposing that it is moving n times so n times and after that it is moving in this cycle so n times b plus c so b plus c is the total distance in our cycle right and uh, so this is c plus b or you can write here b plus c that is same so it is moving here in cycle multiple times and after that they are meeting at this c distance so plus so after a distance that means this linear and after iterating multiple times it is also moving c more times and after that they are meeting to and after that this fast pointer is meeting to slow pointer and uh, we can just write the same thing so what is the distance of this slow pointer so we can see slow pointer is also moving this a distance initially and after that some cycles it may be also doing some cycles this slow pointer may be also doing some cycle so we can write here a plus so a is the linear distance and after that it is also doing some cycle so we have to also suppose that so it is suppose it is doing m number of cycles m number of b plus c and after that it is also moving this c distance to meet this first pointer okay plus extra this c distance so they are also both moving extra c distance to meet meet them with each other and that is not only the case when they are here so it can be also possible when the link list is something like this so first of all what we will do uh, our a value is zero here and after that our first pointer is moving this cycle multiple times so suppose this is b okay they are meeting here so it will be definitely b will be also zero so the uh, our condition is also valid for this case and the rest of the values will be definitely zero so now we have to prove this statement we have to prove that a is equal to b or we can also say a is equal to multiple times loop plus b right so this is our statement now so a plus and now we can just cancel some values 
so here it is a and here it is 2a so we can just uh, do some mathematics here so i can just write this thing and i will write here a plus uh, 2 into this thing plus 2c okay and uh, after that we can just remove them so b will be cancelled with this 2b and a will be also cancelled so after that we have n times b plus c and here we have 2m times b plus c and uh, after that we can just uh, move this thing here so what we can write is b plus c will be cancelled with b plus c and we can write here n minus m so n is obviously the cycles uh, done by faster faster pointer and that is obviously greater so n will be greater than m and n m n minus 1 times n minus m times b plus c and that will be equal to so here we are remaining with a and c so a and c so it is now the condition right so let me write it a little bit clear so this is now the condition so this is our constant value that and the cycle done by our faster pointer and the cycles done by our slow pointer so it is obviously a constant so let us suppose i am taking it as k so k is that uh, so k is the difference of uh, cycles done by fast and slow pointer and k times p plus c and uh, it is equal to a plus c now right and uh, we have to find the relation between a and this b so what we can do is suppose the uh, suppose the difference of cycles done by b and fast and slow is one so if k is one that means uh, our fast pointer is moving one extra cycle than our slow pointer so if k is equal to one then what we can do is b plus c equal to a plus c so this will be our condition and you can see here c will be cancelled with c and now we can also see the proof that b is equal to c so it will be always the condition that b will be equal to c or b is a is equal to multiple times cycle so that means a is equal to multiple times of cycle that means k times b plus c plus b so let me also write it this proof that we have to find the relation between a and b so if it is not the condition then I will just write here a, a is equal to k times b plus c minus c. So, if our k, k is the number of cycle that we are doing and plus c and minus c will be cancelled, okay. So, after, after using this k, so that means a will be also equal to some number of cycles then b. So that is how we are going to see this thing that a, if, if we are moving some pointer from our starting, if we are moving some pointer from our starting, then it will move one step at a time. And if we are moving some pointer when uh, from the distance where F and S are meeting, so fast and slow are meeting at some distance. So we are also moving some pointer from here. So we are moving a pointer from here at one step at a time and we are moving a pointer from our starting head. So this is our head. So we are moving a pointer from this and they will definitely meet at this position. Or it can be the case that that this pointer, this pointer can do multiple evolution revolution around this cycle. So they will definitely meet at this point. So it is the condition here, and we have to write here while slow is equal not equal to nest. So first of all, okay, this looks a little messy now. So first of all, we have to find this position, right? So first of all, we have to find this position where fast and slow are meeting. So the condition will be. Uh, there can be a possibility that there is no link list there is no cycle in in this link list present so we have to write here the condition and pass dot next is also not equal to null so we know that we have to write here two conditions because we are doing here fast equal to fast dot next dot next and if fast dot next is equal to null then we cannot write it as this so fast dot next should also be not equal to null and i hope now you understand this thing why we are writing here two statements so if this is the case and we have to break while break when slow is equal to fast when slow is equal to fast then we have to break here so i hope now you understand this thing first of all we are using a slow pointer and we are also moving a fast pointer so they will definitely meet at some point in the cycle and after that if they are meeting if uh, first of all we have to check if there is cycle present or not if fast is equal to null or we can say fast dot next is equal to null then that means there is no cycle present so we have to simply return here return here minus one so if fast is equal to null then that means slow and fast will never meet and uh, after that what we have to do now we have now we are at this point and now we the now we know the reference of this and now we also know the reference of this so what we will do we will just use two pointers and uh, one will start moving from here and another will start moving from here and they will definitely meet at our desired position 
so i will just take here a temp that will start from head and the another pointer is here slow or we can also say fast so while they are not equal to each other temp is not equal to slow so they will just move ahead temp equal to temp dot next and slow is also equal to slow dot next and they will definitely meet at some position and at last we will just return that thing either you can return here temp or slow so here you can see our space complexity is reduced by o of n so our time complexity is still o of n and the space complexity is o of 1 okay we have to return here data so slow dot data so i hope now you understand this this uh, this whole approach this whole algorithm is called as fluid cycle detection algorithm and uh, you can see here we just detect our cycle if it is present or not using this fast and slow pointer so if you are doing practicing uh, questions on linked list then uh, this can be a possibility that you have to use this fast and slow pointer approach and this is a very famous approach that you can use in uh, so many algorithms so that is it about today and uh, you will get this solution in our dsa repository and you have uh, if you have any another approach then you can also contribute here so i will just see you in the i hope we will just see uh, each other in the next someday so now we will just start our java plus dsa course and first of all we will complete this and then we will see what next amazing courses are coming so thank you for connecting with this series and i will just see you later